Well, would you look at that? We found a village. Carl the Cookie Man. What's up, Carl? Wait, I've never seen these crates before. An iron ingot for a cookie ingot, a diamond for chocolate chip cookies, a blaze rod for a super Bessie cookie, and a super Bessie cookie for an ender cookie that can take us right to the end dimension. I will take 16 chocolate chip cookies and all of your cookie ingots. I'm getting so much experience. I wonder if I can turn this into a weapon. So we'll put the stick at the bottom and the chocolate chip cookies on top, and we got the chocolate chip cookie sword, 16 attack damage, and it explodes things. What is going on? In today's video, I found out villagers have been modified to give out custom cookie overpowered items. Will I be able to use the cookie items in order to beat the ender dragon? Watch until the end to find out. We need some wood ASAP, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, if you guys noticed from the intro and the title and also the thumbnail, we are able to trade with villagers to get extremely overpowered cookie items and weapons. I have no idea what they do, but I know that I can upgrade them. So there's three different levels. There's the regular cookie, there's the chocolate chip cookie, and then there's the super Bessie cookie. Obviously, my scientific cow Bessie made these, so I really need to figure out what the super Bessie cookie does and also turn that into armor and weapons to see just how powerful Bessie made them. Let's turn the logs into plonks. We'll turn the plonks into a crafting table. We'll get some white plonks too. And I didn't even realize there's a ruined portal over here with gold armor. I don't know if I'm gonna need that, but I might as well put it on for now. We'll save this location and we can come back and finish this portal hopefully. Wait, I think I see a village over there. Doop diddy doop diddy doop diddy doop. Go to the village so I can take a poop. Baby fake Bessie, I will let you live. Hello, is anybody home? I heard that there's uh, Girl Scout cookies in town. Girl Scout cookies? Hello, FBI, Federal Beck Bro Jack Investigation Unit. I am in search of cookies. Why is nobody coming out? I found a chest. We got some more flint and some feathers of chickens, but there's no cookie traders here. <gasps> I found one. Hello, my name is Jack. I would like to buy some cookies. Wait a second. Okay, so he actually has the custom trades. So we need iron in order to get cookie ingots, which we can turn, I believe, into cookie armor and weapons and tools. We also need a diamond in order to get four chocolate chip cookies, which have deliciousness. A blaze rod in order to get the super Bessie cookie, so we're gonna need to collect lots and lots of blaze rods. Like an obnoxious amount of blaze rods so that I can turn the super bestie cookies into armor and weapons. And then we can actually use one super bestie cookie in order to get the ender cookie. When we eat it, we are going to teleport to the end dimension. Uh, Mr. Cookie Trader Man, do not move a muscle. I will be back with some iron. Turn the planks into sticks, stick into stonk, upgrade the stonk blank into cobblestone pickaxe. Cobblestone, grab two more, poop that in there with the, uh, don't poop that in there, poop that in there, and then we poop this in there, and then we poop that up there, and then we we plippity ploppity get ourselves a hoppity stone sword. Is there an iron golem anywhere that I could collect iron from? Maybe if I punch a villager, it'll come out of its hiding spot. Hello? 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 Oh, there he is! Punch. Oh, gosh. Okay, built up, built up, built up, built up. Slice. Oh, no. Uh, hold on. I need to go down one. Stay right there. That's right. Stay looking nice and handsome. I will slowly and steadily defeat you in combat so I can collect your iron and trade it for cookies. Yes! We have five. Give me cookies. Does it work? Yes, we get five cookie ingots. What a deal. I guess that's a pretty good deal. So, okay. So, if we put the this there and then we put the stick there, can I make a cookie sword? I can. What? It does 12 attack damage. This thing is so overpowered. Okay, wait. Can I make a cookie pickaxe as well? I can. This is the best day ever. This is everything I've ever wanted. If Mojang or anybody that works at Mojang is watching today's episode, you guys should be taking notes. This needs to be in the next update. Can I eat this thing? What can I do with this thing? Is this thing even good? Oh, wait. I have infinite food. I can spam this thing for infinite cookies. Oh, this just became my favorite day of my entire life. Well, we no longer need to worry about food anymore. Does it? Oh, my... What? It does so much damage. I don't know why I killed the villager. I kind of need the villager for later. Oh, I found two pieces of bread. Luckily, I will not need to be eating simple bread today because I have infinite cookies. <laughs> Excuse me. Little Timmy? Little Timmy? Don't run. Don't run. Eat the cookies. They're delicious and nutritious. <laughs> he doesn't want the cookies. You will eat the cookies or die. The villagers now are terrified of Beckbro Cookie Man, and I don't blame them. Don't worry, guys. I'll be back very shortly. Ooh, where'd this come from? I'm gonna steal this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're gonna need a lot more iron and also diamonds. Yo, who put sus creepers in Minecraft? What is happening? What is, what is this? Luckily, we can literally just spam right click and summon infinite cookies that do insane amounts of damage. Do not play this game with me. Do you not understand? I am Beckbro Cookie God. <laughs> My enemies will just see 
an entire stack of cookies coming towards their face as they die. Can this cookie pickaxe mine iron? Wow. Wait, it can mine it at insanely fast speeds. This thing is amazing. Wait, I wonder if this can actually mine diamonds. How did Bessie make cookies so overpowered yet so delicious? The world may never know. So we collected 36 iron. I think that should hopefully be enough in order to get a full set of cookie ingot armor. Also, where did you guys come from? Are you guys trying to take over my Girl Scout cookie traders? Yo, get out of here. I will defend them with honor. All right, buddy. You might want to just push your body inside where it's nice and safe. They're terrified of me. I'm literally, I don't know what I did, but they're, they're really scared of me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so what do I need to do? I need to turn this iron, the raw iron into iron. What? Okay, we're gonna make a furnace. Plop down the coal. Plop in the raw iron. And wait two to five minutes. A few moments later. We'll grab the iron out of there, put the iron in here, and trade it all for cookie ingots. Why do I get so much experience from just trading cookies with the Girl Scout cookie traders? I don't care. Okay, so now we should be able to craft this into armor, right? Wait, we can't. Why can't we? We can only make chocolate chip cookie armor. I guess I could just turn this all into cookie swords. We now have dual wielding power. Shh, it's gonna be okay. My, my beautiful cookie trading villager, I will be back with lots of diamonds. Don't touch him! Oh, we have two diamonds right here, and I can mine them with the cookie pickaxe. Wait, there's a lot of diamonds. Wait, that was an amazing find. That actually might be all the diamonds that we need. We are back, and we have the diamonds. So if we plop them in there, we can trade all of these for chocolate chip cookies. Plop down the crafting bench. Let's see if I can turn this into a sword. So we have 32, right? <gasps> I can. Chocolate chip cookie sword. The cookie pickaxe can already mine everything that I needed to at extremely fast rates, so we probably don't need to... <gasps> Nobody told me the cookies were explosive. I killed him. I killed the cookie trader and I killed everybody. I almost killed myself. We're gonna need to be about 99% more careful next time. Wait, if this is just the chocolate chip cookie sword, I honestly can't wait to see what the super Bessie cookie sword can do. Stick until the end to see that. Skeleton. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm curious. Can I just eat the chocolate chip cookie? I can. And I get strength six and speed six? What? I'm gonna be able to one shot the ender dragon. I also should be able to turn this into armor. So let's see. We have the chocolate chip cookie chest plate, the paints, the boots, and the helmet. I'm not gonna be needing this anymore. I look beautiful. What? Um, um, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I already have speed six, right? Please tell me. Okay, that eventually wears off, but my body is going at extremely fast speeds and I can't really control it. If I shift click, it's a little bit more manageable. I wonder if I can now survive the chocolate chip cookie sword explosion. I can, but at the same time, it does a lot. And wait a second, I also just realized it shoots out chocolate chip cookies. So I now can have infinite chocolate chip cookies. The only thing left to do is get blaze rods, and then we need to come back here and trade for the super Bessie cookie. I'm a little bit worried to do that, especially because I can barely even control my body that is made out of cookies now with the chocolate chip cookie armor on. Hello, fake Bessie. Die. I think I got it. Is that a woolly flippin' mammoth? Not anymore. I made it back to the ruin portal. Let's see if I can mine obsidian with the cookie pickaxe. Yep, I can. I think we actually should have just enough in order to build the portal. Put the obsidian here, obsidian there, and that should do the trick. We'll put the iron, we'll put the flaunt, and we'll get the flaunt and stealth. Light. And it worked. Let's go bully some blazes, boys. There's an enderman over there, but I mean, honestly, we don't even need to worry about enderman. Oh, I don't know if you like that. Is he dead? Did I kill him? I only need to collect blaze rods, and we just need one super messy... Get away from me! So, yeah, as I was saying, we only need one super Bessie cookie in order to get the Ender cookie that'll teleport us automatically to the End Dimension, and then we can slay the Ender Dragon using the super Bessie cookie stuff. Does anybody remember there being a giant nether castle? Hello? I definitely hear blazes everywhere. Oh my gosh. That is not a blaze! Oh, there are blazes here, though! Okay, I'm gonna use my normal cookie sword to kill them. Oh my gosh, there's wither skeletons here, too, so I don't want to accidentally blow this thing to, you know, smithereens. I would rather keep it intact so that the spawners don't blow up. There's so many. There's so many. There's so many. Luckily, I do tons and tons and tons of damage. Nope, 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 nope. Might eat a cookie. That should make me a little bit more powerful. What? Wait, this place is stacked with amazing loot. I'm gonna destroy this spawner because I don't really need it. Oh my gosh, we have so many arrows. I don't even know if I need arrows, but I'm gonna take it. Wait, is that ancient debris in here? Nope, nope. Back it up. Back it up, boy. I mean, I would grab the ancient debris in order to upgrade to netherite, but I don't even think I need it. The cookie stuff is better than netherite. Hello, blaze. Oh my gosh, with 
the chocolate chip cookie and chance. I literally just kill him in one hit. Dead. Hold on, dead. I'm on fire. That's fine. We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. Wait, I'm actually gaining back health? How is this possible? Is that is that the chocolate chip cookie? It is. At this rate, I've collected 37 blaze rods. What? All right, time to explode this entire castle. Thank you, castle. Well, we made it back. Nope. You think you're gonna survive this one? Not today. <laughs> Where's Carl the cookie man at? Yo, get away. Get away from this building. You're not authorized to be here. Hello? Ooh, hello. Sorry to wake you up, but I kind of need to trade. All right, so I got a lot of blaze rods, right? I'm going to trade them all for super Bessie cookies. And now we can plop down the crafting table and we can see exactly what we can do with this. So I put the sticks in there. We put the cookies on top. Uh, nothing. Maybe I can upgrade it just like this. Oh, it works. 101 attack damage. Is that how the armor works? It is. Wait, I literally have way too many super Bessie cookies. So we've currently upgraded it all. Let's try to put it all on. Okay, I don't have the insane speed, but look at my hearts. And I get so much extra armor too. I also cannot forget to trade at least one for the ender cookie so I can just immediately teleport there. We should also probably try eating a super Bessie cookie. I get strength, resistance, speed, and haste. This is crazy. Let's try to just buy. Oh my gosh. I don't need weapons anymore. Wait, let's try out the Super Bessie cookie. Oh my gosh, it's such a big explosion. It damaged me from all the way over there. What? We're gonna break Minecraft. This is so cool. Bessie, you outdid yourself. I also just realized that the Super Bessie costume is just the cookie costume, but I have a lab coat on because science. Now we can eat the Ender cookie and beat the game. Does it actually work? Okay, I ate the cookie. The cookie has been eaten, ladies and gentlemen, but for whatever reason, I spawned just super far from the Ender Dragon. Don't touch me. 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 Please don't touch me. Mrs. Ender Dragon. Beck bro cookie god is here. My only complaint is that the cookie suit doesn't allow me to fly. Like, it would be really cool if I could just have a set of cookie wings. I almost forgot to do the chocolate chip cookie sword upgrade. So we put the super bestie cookie in there. We get the super bestie cookie pickaxe. Let's test it out. Yep, it is basically instant. And if I eat the super bestie cookie, now it is just extremely instant. It's faster than creative mode. I can't believe it. I need this added into Minecraft. It is so satisfying. We've made it. Let's see if I can explode all of the end crystals using the super cookie. Yeah, that seems to do the trick. Wait, wait a second, dude. I do so much damage to the Ender Dragon. Get these dudes away from me. Do you guys really want to die? Do you not understand? Beck Pro Cookie God is in the building. <laughs> I don't think I do. I'm killing them with a pickaxe. Let's just make it rain Super Bessie cookies. Oh my gosh. Now it is time for the Ender Dragon to come down and perish to Beck Pro Cookie Man. Let's do this in three, two, one. Oh! so close i will explode the ender dragon with cookies yes we did it Vecro cookie man out also subscribe for a cookie if you haven't already